Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we're rearranging this formula to make U the subject. So before we look at this, let's just have a look at a numerical example to show you what you can't do. So if we look at a simple example where we're simply adding a twelfth and a quarter together, Well, a quarter is three twelfths, so that would be four twelfths, so that's one third. So we can then see that if we try to just look at doing this, it would not work, would it? So what I'm trying to show you is that you can't say that 12 plus 4 is equal to 3. Obviously it's not, is it? The thing is, when you've got letters it can be tempting to think oh yes we've got 1 over u plus 1 over v is 1 over f so u plus v is f but it isn't so that's the reason why i've shown you this example involving numbers so it's not as straightforward as just getting rid of the one overs so we're trying to make u the subject so to begin with we'll make 1 over u the subject so all we need to do there is subtract 1 over v from both sides. So 1 over u is 1 over f minus 1 over v. And then I'm just going to show you another numerical example. So let's look at 2 thirds. Well, that's the same as, for example, 8 twelfths. And I could turn both of those fractions upside down. So 3 halves is the same as 12 eighths. So that is okay to turn both sides of an equation upside down. What we're really doing is finding the reciprocal of both sides. In other words, 1 divided by 2 thirds is 3 halves and 1 divided by 8 twelfths is 12 eighths. So that's what we're going to be doing in this example. So what that means is I want to write the right hand side as one fraction so that we've got 1 over u is equal to something over something and then we can turn both sides upside down to get what u is equal to. It'll be u over 1 and in other words that's just u, isn't it? So what we need to do here is combine together 1 over f minus 1 over v, make that into one fraction. So we're going to multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by v to get v over fv and multiply top and bottom of the second fraction by f so 1 over v becomes f over fv so all we've got now is something over fv so we've got v minus f over fv so we're nearly there we have written 1 over u as something over something so it looks a bit like 2 thirds is 8 over 12. And then we can turn both sides upside down. We're doing the same to both sides, we're taking the reciprocal of both sides. So we can say that u over 1 is equal to fv over v minus f. And really u over 1 is just u. So u is equal to fv over v minus f. So we've done it, we've made u the subject. It would be nice to check this answer and we could do that by choosing values for f and v and seeing if we get the right answer when we uh, do that. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we choose f is 2, so we're choosing nice easy whole numbers to work with and v is 6, then u from my answer down here will be 2 times 6 over v minus f, so it's 6 minus 2, so 12 over 4, that's 3, and then I need to substitute into the original formula that I was given, so that's, actually that's not such a good idea really is it, I should, strictly speaking, put a plus in there. OK, so I'm looking at my original formula, so 1 over u plus 1 over v, so that's 1 over 6, is equal to 1 over f, so that's 1 over 2. 
So now I can say 1 over u is a half minus a, a half minus a sixth, and that's equal to one third. So if 1 over u is 1 over 3, then u must be 3. So that shows that we seem to have the right answer. It's not a proof, but it looks okay here.